Okay, you should have already um, gone and looked to see if your website is created. It should look something like this. Depending upon what the server is, there's going to be a default website. And you need to make sure that that's in place so that uh, we're sure that you have an account set up. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to connect between the PC or laptop and um, or Mac and the server so that we can create this connection here so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making changes in software that sits on your local PC to tell it where the server is and what the different settings are so that it can use the internet to connect to that server now if you are a um, off campus you're gonna have to make sure that you have a VPN setting uh, or a VPN connection set up and running when you try to connect to the server so you'll need to, to go ahead and do that you can go to the uh, ask 5000 help desk for information on how to set up the VPN and uh, get the installers and all of that to make sure that that's happening you need to do that before you try to make this connection or it will fail so we're gonna uh, go into Dreamweaver and I have previously set up a uh, file that or a folder that I'm going to use to uh, hold my site that that site or that folder sits on my local machine and it has to sit on my local machine so now what I'm gonna do is show you how to make that connection so I choose site new site and when I come in here I'm just gonna give it a a, uh, a name that helps me to understand it I'm gonna type fall 2013 because that's when I happen to be recording actually spring 2013 because that's when I am recording this and I'm going to navigate to where I had um, created the folder that I'm going to use and select that so that now my software knows where on my local PC the website is going to be saved so I choose select that and then what I need to do is I need to go into servers because this is where I am going to tell my software how to find this server so I come back into Dreamweaver I choose to add a server so I choose the plus sign and um, the server name this is just for your benefit because you're the only one who's ever gonna see this uh, it's just uh, so that you know what it is I'm just gonna put server because um, this video will be used for different classes and the servers will have different names So I'm just gonna do that uh, the connection type that your instructor uh, we'll have sent you information with the connection type that you're going to do for now for this demonstration purpose I'm going to use FTP it might be WebDAV or any of these others uh, but most likely it's going to be either FTP or WebDAV depending upon what you're doing and when you change is like right now it's looking for an FTP address uh, if I choose WebDAV it would be asking for the URL so I'm going to be setting up an FTP uh, connection for net that n now and I'm gonna go ahead and put in sample data this may not be the same as the data that you're going to use so you'll need to make sure you check into the information that your your instructor sent you about what these settings on this page need to be Make sure you've got these settings right based upon what it says because it's going to want to default and put something in here that isn't necessarily right so you're going to want to change this. And then uh, the nice thing about Dreamweaver is it lets me run a test right here and if I've got everything entered in there successfully and my VPN is running if I'm off campus uh, then I will get this screen uh, that allows me to click OK. I choose save. Uh, in the case in this case of uh, um, I go into advanced and choose site route and that will make sense more as we go on this is especially important for ICT 375 and we click save and that sets up and you see over here that I have a site set up now I've um, created a file in that folder um, and all I did is I put my name in there so um, it's got my name and then the, the title has been adjusted to say home page 
So that's the only thing that should be there. So now uh, what I want to do is I've saved that file as index.html. This is one you'll have to create from scratch. Uh, and I'll show you that process. File, new. Um, I'm just going to choose a blank page, HTML. I'm going to use HTML5. So set that over here. And if you want, you can set in your preferences so that it always sets it to HTML5. So you can come in over here and set that. So set that to HTML5. And then you click OK so that every time it creates a new document, it will create it in HTML5. And then you choose to create. It creates this blank document. I've got the ability up here to create um, a title. And then I come over in here. So this is the code window. This is the design window. So um, this lets you see the code of what's happening over here. And I'll just put some text in there so that we can see uh, when I've successfully uploaded that uh, to there. So I'm going to save this as index.html. And since I already have an index in there, it's going to ask if I want to replace it. You won't have that problem. And so now what I need to do is in um, Dreamweaver, there's a synchronized process where it uh, connects the remote and the local servers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose synchronize with the remote server. I'm going to do uh, the entire site. And what I want to do is put newer files to the remote server. So what this is saying is, uh, if I have files on my PC, my local site, that are newer than the ones on the remote site, then I want to um, replace, put, put the new files over the top of the old ones. So I click Preview, and what it does is it runs a dialog box, and it comes up with uh, uh, this synchronized window. It shows me I've got one file that needs to be put, which means it's going from the local up to the remote server. So I just simply click OK, and uh, it uploaded that file. Now I can go back to my browser and I can reload this page and you will see that it comes up with Kevin W. Tharp's home page. So now what we have done is we have created the site uh, setting in the software, um, created a page in the software on my local site. I've uploaded that to the server through the connection that we just made and then now I've gone in with the client and I'm viewing that page. So we've gone the whole loop from local to remote uh, which the remote is also the server and then access that file with the client.